Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading uh, for Sagittarius. What do they want from you? Uh, this is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for your July 2022. So uh, we are going to take a look at someone that is recently coming back into your life or someone that you're currently dealing with that's really not forthcoming or open about, you know, what they want with you. So we're going to take a look to see what this person wants, uh, wants with you. And then uh, we'll take a look to see what will happen if you continue on with this person or if you allow this person back into your life. So, apply this to your own unique situation, switch the roles if you want, keep in mind that these are general messages, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell uh, so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, what else? Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Sagittarius people, so I'm not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specified to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Sagittarius, let's get started. So what do we have for Sagittarius uh, regarding the person that is recently coming back into Sagittarius life or the person that Sagittarius is dealing with? What does this person want from Sagittarius? What does this person want, want from Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for July 2022. Like I said, you can switch the roles if you want. It could be a situation where, you know, the person that you're dealing with is, you know, you know, wanting something from you. Okay. So um, let's see what we have. Okay, we have the Justice card, Libra energy. The Magician here, Gemini, Virgo energy. Could be dealing with any of those energies. You might have those energies in your chart too, um, Sagittarius. Wow, we have the Seven of Swords that jumped out. Um, so Sagittarius, you're dealing with someone here that's not very, very honest here with you. This person, uh, this person is, is quite manipulative when it comes to the truth here. I feel like this person twisted, twists the truth to make it sound like even right in a way. Okay, whoever this is, I feel like this is not a very honest individual. Let's see what else we have here. What else do we have here for Sagittarius regarding the person that they're dealing with or the person that's coming back into this, uh, Sagittarius' life? We have temperance here, Sagittarius energy. Could be dealing with another Sag here, Sagittarius. And the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, and Three of Pentacles here. Ah, uh, I don't know. Seems like this person might be practicing some sort of black magic here, trying to sneak their way back into your life, or trying to win you back or something like that. I, I feel like this person's also a bit of a poster too. Yeah. I feel like this person drums up, like, pulls, you know, drama out of their own ass in, or in, in order to make themselves feel better about themselves. I feel like this person likes a lot of attention, whether, whether it's negative or positive. This person just pulls things out of a hat. Yeah, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy with the Queen of Wands here. Tell me about the Justice card. Why is the Justice card here? You know, the King of Wands. This, okay, so this is a true pair. King to the Queen of Wands. Could, like I said, could be dealing with another Sagittarius or Aries or Leo. Tell me about the Magician here. You have the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Energy. Whoever you're dealing with here, okay? Um, this is an individual that is not very honest. I feel like this person is very selectively honest. I do feel like this is also like a relationship where... A lot of the transactions is being handled via text or phone call. Like, I feel like you guys are not having these conversations in person. Yeah. So I don't know if this is also a long distance relationship or something like that. Tell me about the, yeah, it's not showing here, but I'm feeling like there is some sort of distance here. Seven of Swords. We have the Strength card, Leo Energy, Temperance. And then we have the Two of Wands. Seems like we have someone here that doesn't know who they want or what to pick here. Um, I do I do feel like we have someone here that just can't help themselves but to lie. But there is some sort of distance here between you guys. We have the world card on the bottom of the deck. Tell me about the Queen of Wands here. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Why is this Queen of Wands here? 
Why is this Queen of Wands here? Knight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. Sagittarius, I feel like you're this feminine energy here. You could be like, you know, focusing on your work here, focusing on yourself, focusing on filling your own cups, you know, uh, finding your wishes here. Finding happiness on your own. Seems like this is a soulmate connection. Look at that. Divine masculine and feminine here. Empress and the emperor here. The problem is someone here is really indecisive here. Someone here is lying a lot and playing a lot of mind games and not really speaking the truth. Yeah, secrets here. There is some sort of distance here with the Eight of Cups. The thing is, I feel like this person might be someone's happiness or that they're seeing someone as their happiness here. Okay? You know, I, I feel like if this person is hiding the truth from you, you know, hiding some sort of secrets from you, it is eventually going to come to the surface. Yeah? Because we have the moon, and then the next card is the sun. The sun is about, you know, revealing, you know, being seen. Okay? What will happen if Sagittarius allowed this person back into their life, or if Sagittarius continued on with this person? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for July 2022. We have the four of pentacles here. Okay? We have the death card, Scorpio energy. I don't think this bode, bodes well because with the four of pentacles, this is an indication that someone here does not have anything to give at all. Yeah, at all. Yeah, this is like like a miser. This is an energy who, uh, of someone here who takes, okay? Um, we have the chariot, cancer energy, and the king of pentacles here. So Cancer Energy with the uh, Chariot, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And then we have the Five of Wands and Judgment. You know, if you continue to allow this person into your life or keep this person in your life, there's going to be a lot of conflict here. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of conflict. There's a very in and out energy here. There's a very uh, shifty energy you know, I feel like you never really know what you're going to get with this individual. It could be a situation that, you know, this person in one moment is super nice, super engaging. And the next moment, this person switches off, you know, completely goes cold. Um, tell me about the four of pentacles. Why is, it, why is this four of pentacles here? Tell me about this four of pentacles. Why is the four of pentacles here? And the two of pentacles, the death card. I don't know. I feel like this person might be juggling you with somebody else. There could be some sort of energy manipulation here or something like that. There could be some sort of magic being performed. You know, this person might not be might not even be aware that this person has these abilities, but they're doing it. Seems like some, someone here is under someone's spell. Two of Pentacles and a Six of Swords. Yeah, because I feel like I'm getting an energy that someone here is also completely obsessed with somebody. Like, overly obsess uh, obsessive. Yeah, not like normal yeah so i don't know if this person's trying to get you to be obsessed over them or something like that you know or or, or that it's just your person being completely obsessed with you um okay tell me about the chariot we had the three of cups king of pentacles and the seven of wands yeah this person's really defensive you know i feel like if there's a distance i feel like there's an energy that someone here wants to move towards someone and sort of like get together with somebody remember i was saying that this is sort of like a pen pal energy sort of thing i'm, get, I'm getting that the the transactions or the communication that's happening it's mostly via text or something like that or on the phone tell me about the five of wands why is the five of wands here We have the Five of Cups, Judgment. And yeah, there's just going to be a lot of disappointment here. Someone here needs to do the work to distance themselves and start to, uh, start the healing process because I feel like the person that you're dealing with here is not going to be able to give you what you want here, Sagittarius, unfortunately. Yeah. We have the King of Cups here. So this person wears a couple of different masks or something like that. This person definitely is at a distance here from you. I, you know, I feel like this is... I feel like someone here wants a happily ever after, but it just seems like there's distance. I don't know if that's an issue here, okay? So Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.